Well, he may not have his sight, but that has not stopped Brandon and Tommy from running towards his dream and aspirations. In fact, Brandon is about to run in his 14th Chevron Houston half marathon this Sunday, thanks to the help of I Can Alliance. This is a nonprofit his family started to help blind athletes. He's actually joining me now. I'm so excited. Along with his father, David, and one of his guides, Slade Lewis. Gentlemen, thank you so much for waking up with me. Thanks for having us. I am so excited, Brandon. How excited are you to be here? <coughs> um, I'm, 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 uh, I'm very excited to be here. Yes, Brandon and I have been talking a lot in the green room, and we have a lot in common. We also share a birth year for sure. But David, tell me a little bit about Brandon and his journey. So uh, Brandon was born. Uh, blind. He had limited vision until he was 15, lost that from one day to the next, and he's been in darkness since that point. But So he has something about colors and, and shapes and that kind of thing because he had that limited vision at that point in time. But really it was uh, because somebody else saw him uh, on a treadmill one day and said, hey listen, uh, he was running and said, I got this idea, why don't, why don't I guide him for a half marathon? And uh, that started really a totally different journey for Brandon. And here we are. Did here you are. ever think that your son would be accomplishing all of this? Because he doesn't just run in half marathons. He, uh, he, he's been a wonder. Uh, there's no question about it. I never knew he was competitive until uh, we started getting involved in some of the races and that kind of thing. And then the guides would come back to me and say, no, he doesn't like to be passed. Yeah. As soon as he hears somebody's coming up, he starts pedaling faster or he starts running faster. Uh, so he's a, he's a very competitive guy. He gets that from his mother. <laughs> and uh, he just wakes up the, that day and goes like, well, what's on task for today? And Slade, you're actually one of the guides. So tell yes. me about this. Uh, it's, a, it's more of a blessing for me than it is a, for, for Brandon. But it's an honor to be able to guide Brandon. He's always in a good mood. Uh, he, he always has a smile on his face. And he loves to go fast. So when we're on the bike, and um, when that wind's going really fast behind his ears, that's when he's the happiest person alive. So that makes me happy. So it's, a, it's, it's fun. And Brandon, I'm going to touch you. Brandon, you have three points that you like to tell people. <coughs> Can yes. you tell me those? Yes. Uh, I, like to, I like to lead people with three points. Point number one is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4.13. Point number two is, when you set a goal, you will attract people to you that will help you accomplish the goal. Point number three is, once you have accomplished the goal that you have set, you will never know who you will inspire to then go do something greater than they thought that they could ever do. And Brandon, you inspire me. You have me in tears when you tell me this. And your son, if you were to just describe him to everybody out there, what would you say? Ooh, now I gotta catch myself up on that kind of question. <laughs> uh, really, Brandon, Brandon is a light. You know, we like to say, Brandon, uh, if you're around Brandon, you've been around Sl Slade, will attest to this, you can get Brandonized pretty quick. <laughs> um, and so that's, that's really, it's, he's, he's just a light. He uh, always has a smile, except when his dad kind of gets on him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we, uh, we're, we, we, he has been and continues to be a blessing, and I, I think people that are around him uh, would acknowledge that same thing. Well, you all are a blessing, and I'm so thankful to know you all. And we're going to have a link to ICANN because you can donate. I mean, we want to make sure that we continue this. We're going to be cheering you on real quick. i got to pay the bills. So let's take a look at today's sponsored content. And, of course, you guys know that we will be back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. And this is why I'm so glad to be back from maternity leave to share stories like yours, Brandon. You're truly an inspiration. And I have no excuse to not run. So, yeah, I'm going to be out there running with you. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be cheering you on, and we will be back here tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody. Thank you again, Brandon.